come up just a moment. We're gonna sing that one more time. But before we do, I wanna make a declaration this morning. I'm not sure I've ever done this before, but this is what the Holy Spirit is leading me to do. I met a gentleman this morning by the name of Austin. And Austin, you know who you are. And I met two of your sons, Luke and Logan. And when I began to sing this song this morning, Austin, the Lord wanted me to tell you that you are a blessed man. I know you already know this, but when you start to sing about your family being favored by the Lord and your children and your children's children and your children's children's children, if you're here today, let, let, me, let me just stop for a moment because some of you are saying, you know what, Pastor? I don't see the favor of the Lord in this child's life today. I don't see it. And I'm struggling with that. And I don't know what to do with that. But can I tell you 2 Corinthians 1.20 says that the promises of God are yes and amen. Now, you might not see it, but by faith, we're going to trust and believe and we're going to praise him as if it's already been done. Amen. So we're going to sing that again. And I definitely want to do that bridge when we come back into a thousand generations. from God and you need healing, we're going to ask you to come to the altar and we're going to be praying for you and over you as you come to the altar this morning. We're not going to lay hands on you, but we're going to pray for you and we're going to continue to sing this song, trusting and believing God for your healing. Now, if you're here today and you need a healing, I want you to raise your hand. They're already coming. Now, come on, come on, come on, come on out, come on to the altar right now. Right now. Here they come. Here we go. Let's sing it, church. Sing it, church.
sing, I want you to continue to pray, church. I'm telling you, there are people here today who need breakthrough. There are people here today that need breakthrough, and it might not be just physical. Come on now. Come on now, church. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Come on. Lift the ceiling off of this place with your shouts of prayer this morning. Come on, church. Come on, church. I want us to pray this morning. They're gonna continue just to sing lightly in the background. I want us to pray for a gentleman by the name of Bill. It's Steve Cutteridge's father and he has gone in the hospital over the weekend and he has asked for prayer. I'm gonna ask that we as a church family stand in the gap for him. If you're here today, besides the people that are here at the altar, if you're here today and you have a need, I just want you to lift your hand. I just want you to lift your hand. Now, for those of you who are still sitting in a balcony and back here, I just want you to look around. You lift your hands high. Let's you lift your hands high. We're not going to anybody this morning. We're not laying hands on anybody. But I want you to pray for those people who are around you that have their hands up. I want you to look around. I want you to see them. You might not know their name, and it's okay. It's okay that you don't know their name. But I want you to get eye contact with them. I want you to look them in the eyes. And I want you to point at them. And I want them. I want you to tell them, I'm praying for you. Just tell them, I'm praying for you. Point up to them right now. Look them in the eyes. Micah, I'm praying for you this morning, son. Chelsea, I'm praying for you this morning. Melanie, I see that hand. I am praying for you this morning. Hallelujah. 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 Julie, I see your hand this morning. I'm praying for you and your daughter this morning. Church, begin to lift your voices in prayer. Father, as we come before you, in the name of Jesus, we commit ourselves to you, Lord, and we trust you and we trust your word. Your word says that we are your people. God, throughout all the Old Testament and the New Testament, we see your promises concerning your people. Lord, we choose not to believe the lie of the enemy. And what the enemy has convinced us that we are today, we abolish that lie in Jesus' name. And we stand on your promises today, Lord. We stand on your promises that are true. Father, as we, as you see the hands of every single person that went up this morning, Lord, there is nothing that I can do or Pastor David could do in our own ability and our own strength. So we lean on you this morning like never before. We call out, we cry out. We petition you. We beg you, Lord. We ask you, Father, to meet the needs of your people today. Lord, I pray for breakthrough where breakthrough is needed. I pray, Father, for healing where healing is needed. I even pray for restoration. You're here today in your marriage. You just think, man, there is nothing left of my marriage. There's nothing left. I'm here to tell you that God can bring and turn your absolute grave of, an, of, a, of a marriage into an incredible garden springing forth with freedom and with liberty and with life and with health. Father, we want to lift up Bill to you as well this morning. Is he in the hospital and he's got pneumonia and he's got cancer and he's got so many things that are going on. Lord, I thank you for this man. He's a saint of God who has served you for years. I just pray, Holy Spirit, that even in that hospital bed, in that hospital room, that you would just meet him right where he is at and overwhelm him with your presence and love. And 
I pray that you would give this family peace and comfort and strength during this time. And Father, I just want to publicly declare before this people, I want to thank you for another chance at life. We are not guaranteed our tomorrows. And Lord, I want to make the absolute best of the time that you've given me. You are such a good and faithful God. I thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in this place today. You are so incredible. Holy Spirit, just continue to move. Holy Spirit, continue to move. Not that you need our permission, but just continue to move. Your people are hungry for you, Lord. Your people are hungry for you, God. They need you. They need a touch from you today. Father, we want to praise you. We want to worship you. You are worthy of every bit of energy, every bit of life, every bit of vibrancy that we have. You are worthy of every single bit of that. And God, I know my wife's probably watching from TV right now and she's concerned that I'm exerting way too much energy and I get all that. But you know what, Lord, if I'm going to go down, this is the way I want to go down. I can't think of a better place and a better way.